of all the fucking countries, right? France, right? France is probably one of the most militant countries out there. They, they don't stand for shit. But yet, but yet, France passes a law penalising critics of MNR treatments. Up to 45,000 euros fine and something like 10 years imprisonment. For basically saying Pfizer vaccine is no good. Just literally having an opinion on a treatment, right? How, how the fuck are people not... How, what, how, what the fuck, man? How is one, this just not everywhere? Why isn't it everywhere? How, how on earth has a pharmaceutical company been able to shut people up criticising it? You know, science... Science is fluid and it changes. And without actually going, oh, that might not work. Oh, this is a new idea. You don't come up with new theories because a theory is a theory until it's tested and you get results and you come to a conclusion. But now you can't even have a conversation about it. I can't say, oh, actually, no, I don't want that. I don't believe in it. It doesn't work. I, I just... It, it's fucking beggars belief. What the fuck is going on? What? How? Has that even happened? How has that even happened? Come on, think about it. Think about it. How is a pharmaceutical company telling you you can't open your mouth and say something about a product? Next, it'll be you can't fucking diss cancer treatment and you can't diss this treatment and you can't... What the fuck is going on? Honestly, this has really fucking made me... I don't need it being menopausal. I'm angry enough. I don't need extra anger. Right? I don't need extra anger. But currently, there are no laws saying that I can't say anything about it. Right? This fucking platform, YouTube, oh, you know, they will probably stifle it because that stupid cunt, that stupid cunt, I'm not going to say his name because then I'm just... He has something to do with it, doesn't he? And all the other platforms. You know, when it when it comes to like what 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 done me right during that during that 2020 drama, within the first couple of weeks there's all this fear and panic. And the first couple of weeks, I might get it, right? After that, people needed to engage their actual thinking brain and look at it for what it was. You had people, neighbours. Grassing on another neighbours like it was Nazi Germany. And people went, oh, but, you know, whew, we could all die. Oh, fear, fear. You know, ha, ha, every single person who studies dictators and freedom and all those things know that whenever there's any form of shock, shock doctrine, any form of mass hysteria they bring in control so what did they do they near enough abolished cash they stopped us from moving it they destroyed businesses they've encouraged people to work from home they forced people to take a treatment that they don't want to take and now you can't even diss it in france the most militant fucking country in the fucking world and that comes, I just, I'm actually, I just, so honestly, Russell Brand does an interview with Tucker Carson. I think it's on, it's on Tucker Carson's Locals. But honest, I, I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm actually in a little bit of disbelief. I'm, it's to the point where I'm like, fuck me, fucking hell, fucking hell, this is pinnacle. This is, what's next? What the fuck is next? Anyone else? Anyone else? Can you, anyone out there, see the bigger fucking picture and see that this is worse than... It's just... Oh, I just... I, 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 can't, I don't know. I can't put words together. I just... I'm absolutely dumbfounded. Public. What the fuck are you doing? Hmm. Welcome to the annihilation and the extinction of the human race. Because we're nearly there. Well done. Give yourself a round of applause. Congratulations for fully enslaving yourself. Peace, love and light.